This is the first of um, four eco debates, and I am very, very pleased that uh, we've been able to um, arrange this here in Barhaven. My name is Gregory Guevara. I am running on an auto exit campaign. As mayor, what are the key actions council should pursue in the next four years to transition to zero carbon emissions? We need to keep investing in bike lanes. Or ensure they have the resources necessary to execute the initiatives. When elected mayor, I'm going to commit to net zero emissions by 2050. Sorry, Fabio should be removing the need for personal vehicles. I, uh, I love all those ideas. Those are all great ideas. Um, I just think that they are a little too moderate. You know, for decades we've we've tried to we've tried to crack this problem. We really have, um, but we haven't really made much progress. Things have just gotten worse and worse. I uh, I made a little diagram. I'd love to show you. Um, we we talked earlier. We talked earlier about um, how Ottawa is going to expand. See, this red line represents the amount of uh, environment we have. And the black line represents the number of people. Now, we were talking earlier about how Ottawa is expected to grow, what was it, 500,000 people? Ottawa is expected to grow by a half a million people over the next 25 years, which translates to 200,000 new homes. And depending on how you run the numbers, we're already facing a deficit of 50 to 80,000 homes. That's a great, that's a great statistic. I say, I think to myself, well, wh why, why, you know? What if we just didn't? <laughs> think about that. Uh, and then, you know, as well, Big wall, no exports, no imports. I say we figure out how to live with one million folks, right? And then, then we figure it out. We figure out, okay, now we have more people, right? But we don't even know how to, we don't even know how to live with a million people. How are we going to live with 1.5? Think about, are you thinking about that? Think about that. That's it. Thanks. Uh... As mayor, would you seek council support to pursue a civil lawsuit against large oil, coal, and gas companies to help? pay for increasing city costs related to climate emergencies and destruction. We wouldn't even have this issue. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be dealing with international energy corporations in a nationalized Ottawa. We wouldn't have to worry about it. We would have our Ottawa Exxon, you know, our Auto M bridge. All of these things would solve our problems. We wouldn't have to worry about this kind of stuff. So this is just another problem. How can Ottawa significantly increase the share of locally produced seasonal healthy foods? Well, I got a garden and uh, I think everyone should have a garden, especially because in 15 years we don't get a wall. You're gonna need a garden, okay? <laughs> How would you increase accessibility and reliability of public transportation in rural and suburban areas within the city? I think that um, the whole transit issue can kind of be sidestepped with a pretty simple proposal, which is the universal basic government job. Everyone, it's a government job, right? You work one hour a day, you get paid for eight, it's a sick gig, free dental. Uh, you can also just work from home. You don't have to go on the bus, you don't have to go on the train. Um, buses unclog, trains unclog, everyone's happy. If you, know, if you want to go to the, if you want to train to the gym at 2 p.m., uh, you're not going to be caught in, caught in any kind of uh, rush hour or lunch break traffic because uh, everyone's just chilling at home. Uh, so yeah, get a government job um, and I'll give you one. You get a government job. You get a government Everyone gets a government job. Thank you. The City of Ottawa's plan lists a number of new revenue mechanisms that the city might initiate to pay for their climate change plans. They include imposing road tolls of $20 for each vehicle that enters the city. Do you think the City of Ottawa should be handicapping its citizens like this? Yeah, freedom of movement is extremely important within Ottawa. As long as you don't go outside Ottawa, but I don't see why you would. It's time for closing statements. All candidates and audience participants are encouraged to participate in the national language of your choice. So uh, we were allowed to answer this question in our national language. The national language I want to institute is Fringlish, either French spoken in really bad English, like with a really bad English accent, or English spoken with a really bad French accent. Um, Nubizwen un grand moor. Un moor très, très grand. Et les solutions nous avons pour le climat emergency, ils sont trop petites. Nous besoin plus solution grande. Et une solution est un universel government job où tout le monde peut relax et essayer à aider l'environnement sur leurs own terms. Alors, bien sûr, why not? Thanks. 
Thank you.